Yeah, welcome back to my channel guys so we are going to be starting this by drafting our basic bodies okay so we are going to be starting with the front uh, basic bodies so right here i'm marking out the shoulder measurements i divided it by two okay and then i marked one inch downwards so i'll be connecting that to the edge of the pattern paper then right there i'll be marking out my ham o measurement okay so i came down by about eight inches all right so i'm going to be connecting it to the slope that i made earlier all right so right there i'm going to divide whatever i have at that spot i'll be dividing it by two all right and then right on that spot i'll be marking out 0 0.5 and then i'll be connecting all the three points with my french curve all right so simply go right ahead and do the same thing so basically we are marking out the basic bodies right here okay so that is done i'll go right ahead to mark out my bust points measurement which is what i'm marking across now then i'll connect with my ruler okay so right after that i'll mark out my under bust measurement too okay so i'm labeling that my bust point so i'll be marking out my under bust measurements right now okay i'll mark it across as well then i'll proceed to my waist measurement okay i'm marking that across and then i'll finally proceed to my blouse length measurement okay so i made use of 25 inches for my blouse length measurement so simply go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper okay please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up kindly subscribe to my channel guys so right here i'm marking out my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches so that's what i'm marking across now do the same thing on your pattern paper okay simply connect all the lines all right so right now we are going to be drafting the princess that bust yeah for our blouse so that's what we are working on now so now that is done i'll mark out four inches from that shoulder slant okay and then i'll connect with a curve with a gentle curve to my line on my bust point so simply go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and kindly subscribe to my channel so now on both my under bust line and on the waistline i'm going to mark one inch okay one inch on both sides of the line that we made earlier and i'm going to connect like so okay I'm going to connect like so and then i will connect back to the line on the full length like so okay so go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper and then i will also connect that to the bust point okay i'll connect that to the bust point as well so you can do the same thing on your pattern paper all right so right about now we are moving over to um the arm o side so i'm going to mark one and a half inches okay from the first line that we made i'm going to mark one and a half inches all right and then i'll connect it back to the curve that we made earlier all right so simply go right ahead and do the same thing okay so this is um for the snatch we are going we are using this to snatch the arm o measurement okay and then i will because i came down by 1.5 inch all right i'm going to um go out by that same 1.5 inch just to make up for the 1.5 inches that i removed so you are going to extend that line by that same 1.5 inches i hope you understand what, I'm, what i just explained guys so we are cutting off that part now on the um on the bus okay we are going to do further alteration there so you measure whatever you have right there and then we are going to be dividing it on equally on our on the bus line so right on the side i'm going to go out by 0 0.75 and then on the mid part i'm going to go in by 0 0.25 i hope you understand what i just explained guys so this is to snatch our under bust further all right so right there i'm going to make a curve on both sides and then i'll connect back to the line that we made earlier 
all right so this is the new points we are working with i hope you understand what i just did so i'm going to um do the same curve on the midpoint okay i'll do the same thing right there and then i'll connect the new line to, to the dart leg that we have earlier okay so this is the new dart leg we are going to be working with so i'm going to um, mark that part as the part that we will be cutting out now i hope you understand what i just explained guys just do everything i did in the video so the next thing to do now is to take our body measurement so for the bust part i added my sewing allowance then for the waist part you are going to measure out your waist divided by four then the um space that we have there we'll measure what you have there add it to your sewing allowance add it to it to your measurements then you add your sewing allowance and then on the full length part i measured my hip okay and then i added my sewing allowance so i'll be connecting all the lines now okay so i hope you understand what i'm doing so with this the drafting of um the front bodies is almost complete so i'm going to be connecting the extra one and a half inch that we marked out earlier i'm going to be connecting it now to my measurement okay with a gentle curve so with this the drafting of the basic bodies is complete now we are we are going to be doing further alteration but for now let's move to the back bodies okay so i'm going to just mark out my um, desired neck measurement okay and then i'll be labeling it the side and um the mid part which is going to be unfold all right so we'll be altering this later but let's cut out now and uh, move over to the back measurement okay kindly give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel okay guys and please share the video so others can get to see it thank you so much so we'll be cutting out the front now and then we're moving over to the back so this is the back um bodies all i'm just doing now is to mark out the basic bodies here okay just mark out your basic bodies like we did for the front so i'm marking out my back my ham hole my um waist measurements my full length okay right after that i'm going to mark out the four inches for the shoulder to um for the nipple to nipple measurement okay i marked that right across and then on the waist part i took out 0 0.5 on both sides okay and then i um did the gentle curve to the arm o then on the um zipper allowance part on the waist i took out 0 0.5 that is for the snatching of the waist okay to make it flat at the back so it doesn't budge so i connected to the full length and the upper part then I, I marked out the part that will be cutting off all right so um the next thing that we're going to be doing at this point is to take out our um, body measurement okay so i marked out my body measurements across divide by four and then add your sewing allowance okay and then on the waist part you are going to add the one inch for the dart intake to your measurements before you add your sewing allowance and then you take out your hip measurements as well and connect everything so the next thing to do is to of course get my neck measurements so your desired neck measurements you mark it out and then with that we are done with the um the basic bodies for the back so i'm going to label the side and um i've labeled the other part the zipper allowance part so the next thing to do is to cut out what we have here and then we'll move on with our further alteration all right guys so this is what we have for the back and then this is what we have for the front so let's start our alteration on the front bodies first so on the under bust line i moved in by about two and a half to three inches this depends on you and then on the arm o side i marked out about three inches okay so i'm going to be connecting that with a gentle curve to the first line and then with a straight line to the full length okay i hope you understand i'm just trying to create another um because i'm going to be um making a kind of design here with another fabric so i'm going i'm trying to create another design so that i have three parts for my front i hope you understand okay so i'm going to label one two and three so that i don't mix up my patterns right so i'm going to cut out on whatever i have okay whatever design you choose to create okay i'm just going to cut it out 
and right about now i'm going to um further mark out that waist measurement because that is what i'm going to be working with okay so that is the waistline that i'm marking out okay and then we are going to start with our alteration we are going to be using the slash and spread method for this so on that part i have three inches so i simply divided it into three okay and then i'll be connecting with my line to the full length so simply go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper right so i'm marking out that part now that i'm going to be slashing out so i move over to the second one i divided into three as well all right so the three is not a standard you can divide into two or four depending on how full you want your pattern to be okay i just choose to to divide mine into three all right and then i move over to the side and do the same thing as well and then after this i'm going to be cutting this part all right so simply cutting it out so i'll be able to spread it as much as i want okay simply go ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up kindly subscribe to my channel okay i hope you understand what i'm trying to do here so i'm going to, to create more fullness for each of the parts of the blouse all right so i'm going to cut out the other part as well yeah so that part is done for the front now moving over to the back i'm going to alter the back as well i create any design that i want and make another um panel for the back i hope you understand so simply go right ahead and do that and then i will um connect from the arm hole with another gentle curve okay and then i'll be cutting out this part i'll also label one two three so i don't uh, mix up my patterns when i want to sew and then i divided into each panel into three parts as well on the waist part for me to be able to slash it okay so simply go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper we are trying to create more fullness for this um lower part of the blouse all right don't forget to subscribe guys and please share the video give this video a thumbs up so others can get to see it thank you so much so go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper and then we're moving over to the third one third panel and then we'll be dividing into three as well so right after this the next thing to do is of course we are going to be slashing it out like we did with the front pattern all right so um you are going to be creating fullness with this so whatever um design you choose to work with you are going to be creating this extra fullness for the lower part you can spread as much as you want all right so go right ahead and do the same thing on your pattern paper just like i'm slashing it okay so we'll be creating more fullness with this part so and with this we are done with um the pattern for this blouse so in my next video i'm going to be showing you the sewing of this thank you